Hey everybody, today we're going to actually figure out how to customize Contact Form 7. Oh boy, I have been stuck on this myself for a long time and you know there's finally something that makes a little bit of sense here that I'm going to show you guys. We're going to do some customization to the submit button. Alright, so here we are. This is my website here. I'm going to go ahead and do a simple contact form. This is already created. I'm sure you already have one. I'm sure you've tried everything here and you've gotten completely stuck. So the trick here is basically you know, here, here's the submit button. What it doesn't have and why we can't control what it looks like on the page itself. Here we'll go to the page. This is what it looks like. It's just always going to be blue and purple no matter what. doesn't matter what you try. You're having a hard time. The reason why is because it doesn't have an ID. So as soon as we put an ID on here, and we'll just call it button, all of a sudden, and then we, we go ahead and save this here, all of a sudden we can now go ahead and change this in our CSS inside of our theme. So right now I'm using B theme. I'm sure some of you are using other other programs that have or um, you know themes that, that have this option to put custom CSS in there. If not, I'm sure there, there's a, a plugin, but most of all of the, in the, the premium themes have the option to go ahead and cu customize your CSS. So all we're going to do here is, is the pound sign here and do button. And now why are we not using a period? Everybody here is you know, used to a little bit of CSS, and you probably have some set CSS, and it starts with a period. I actually have that pulled up right here. I will leave this link. It is geeksforgeeks.org. Basically, it's because the pound sign is unique and it represents an ID, and we're using an ID and not a class, and the period sign is using a class instead, which is more or less for multiple things, you know, such as a H1 tag. So that's why we're using the pound sign. So we have the pound button here. We'll go ahead and start that thing off. We will say color is white and the background color is black. Just for an example. We'll go ahead and save these changes here. We're going to make sure that everything here is saved as well. And then we're going to the contact form and let's see if it adapted the changes and it did. Uh, now if you have any, you know, you want to go ahead and change things like your subject line, your phone number, your email, maybe you want to do something else special with your button, I'm going to leave a link to the W3 schools. This will actually show you a bunch of different codes here. Uh, you know, I'm not going to be able to go through, you know, padding and text align with you guys. You know, this, this is probably the best way to kind of learn exactly where to, what to do for your button. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, we cracked the code. We cracked the code for contact form seven. Hallelujah. This thing has been bothering me forever and I'm sure it's been bothering you too. It's just been that simple the whole time. If you enjoyed, we're going to have a lot more content like this. I have my own marketing company and we run into problems all the time. So we're going to be making a lot more videos like this that cover some of these tricky little, tricky little things that shouldn't be so tricky.